When The Vampire Diaries makes its season 5 debut on October 3rd, we'll be getting six new characters, and right now Clever TV is breaking them down. So now that Elena and Co. have graduated from high school and are heading to college, the opportunities for meeting new people will be basically endless. Plus, keep in mind the exit of all of the originals on the show has left a big gap that will have to be filled by some newbies. Thanks to some scoop via Entertainment Weekly, we have got some new character 411. So first up are two gorgeous gals, Nadia and Tessa, who are being played by actresses Olga Fonda and Janina Govankar. The show's executive producer, Julie Pleck, refers to Nadia as the big mystery, and she adds that she will be causing some trouble. She's set to be involved with Matt after meeting him during his European vacation. And yes, everyone, we do hear that things are going to be pretty steamy. Now, Tessa will arrive in Mystic Falls looking for a former flame, but like Nadia, she's not who she seems to be, and her storyline will be filled with mystery. Up next is Jesse, played by Kendrick Sampson, who, get this, is actually a human character who becomes very interested in Caroline when the girls arrive at college. But don't get too worried about Caroline and Tyler yet. We hear that she will try to hold Jesse off, but that he will be sweet, smart, and tempting. And lastly, Jesse will open the door to a mystery going down at the college that will lead him to become involved in the supernatural side of things. Our next new character should be a prerequisite on every show on television, in my opinion. He's a hot doctor. Actor Rick Cosnett joins the cast as Dr. Wes Maxfield, but this hottie won't love our Mystic Falls ladies right away. In fact, according to Julie Pleck, you can expect him to call them out for not belonging in his advanced class, embarrass them, and send them slinking away. Later in the season, in episode 5 to be exact, we'll meet Aaron, played by Sean Sipos, who, yes, might be the only guy giving Damon a little run for his money when it comes to Elena's affections. He's a human with a tragic story, and his friendship with Elena will be a deep one. So deep that, yes, Damon might even feel threatened. But for now, it seems like this is just a friendship. And our last new character might not look so new, but boy oh boy, he sure is. It's Silas in the body of Stefan, as played by Paul Wesley. Are you guys confused yet? It's okay. We're guessing this whole shadow self thing is going to be well explained in season 5. And Julie Pluck describes this switcheroo as fun, noting that this version of Silas is almost like Damon from season 1, and it's a challenge that Paul Wesley is excited about too. He says he's getting his revenge for playing a quote, droopy, sad Stefan for 5 years. So there you have it everybody, our six new characters are Nadia, Tessa, Jesse, Dr. Wes, Aaron, and Mr. Shadow Self Silas. So who are you all most excited to see introduced during season 5 of TVD? Give us your thoughts in the comments section below and make sure to subscribe to Clever TV right now because we are your ultimate source for all things Vampire Diaries. I'm Jocelyn Davis in Hollywood, thanks for watching.